Hey, what's up? It's me, JDS4696, and today I'm giving a film review for Terminator Genesis. Now, this is the fifth film in the uh, Terminator franchise. You know, you had the Terminator, then Terminator 2, Judgment Day, then Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, and then you also had uh, Terminator Salvation. Now, I thought all those were uh, like pretty good films. None of them could really touch the first two films, but I thought all those were like decent films. It was also like a like an animated, like like, like CGI like type animated film that was based around like Salvation. I forget what it was called though, but it it isn't considered part of like the main franchise. But anyway, Arnold Schwarzenegger he returns to this film as well, reprising his role as like the T eight hundred Terminator, you know. And I'm gonna touch on that as I go through my review. <laughs> All right. Now this this fifth film in the franchise is about the soldier Kyle Reese, who is played by uh, John Courtney, and he's in the war against uh, Skynet and artificial general intelligence. And you know Skynet has always been a part of like the franchise. It was like the computer intelligence that created like the Terminators and stuff like that and virus other like machines and stuff in the future, you know, which in turn kind of like caused like the nuclear war. But yeah, he's uh, he's out against like the art of the, uh, Skynet and you know Skynet of course is, is out to destroy the human race. Now John Connor, the leader of the resistance, he sends Kyle Reese back in time from the year 2029 to 1984 to protect his mother, you know, Sarah Connor who has been targeted by Skynet. So like the film, it kind of like, it, it, uh, it combines events that occurred in the original Terminator from, from 1984, like, you know, with Arnold, like, you know, like the T-800, like the first Terminator when it was summed back in time to kill Sarah Connor. When Kyle Reese is summed back this time, it's kind of like different. That's why I said it's kind of confusing, you know, because it's dealing with like, a, like time travel and stuff like that. But it's cool that it gives like nods to like the original film, you know, and even the second film as well, which I would touch on. Because basically, like the events of the original Terminator, even Terminator 2, Judgment Day, to a certain extent, have been like altered. Like the timeline has been altered. And Sarah Connor, this time, at this point, as far as the, the way this altered timeline is going, she has been raised by a reprogrammed Terminator known as the Guardian. And that's why like, this, this Terminator looks like old and stuff. Because, you know, like the Terminator, the endoskeleton, which I wasn't, I think I did remember them saying that on the other ones, they can actually age. So this Terminator that, that is protecting. Sarah Connor is like age, and that, that explains why Arnold Schwarzenegger has like an old, like you know, old like gray hair and stuff, which I thought was cool. I thought it was like a cool touch, seeing like a Terminator that was like old, you know, like aged and stuff. And Arnold, he, he really doesn't look that that old or nothing. I know, but you could tell he's like aged and stuff with like gray hair and, and stuff like that, you know. But yeah, it basically like you know, it's basically about like the uh, the time travel, like everything has been like altered the timeline. So it turns out, like it was like a huge spoiler in the film, which was already revealed in the trailers. It turns out that uh, John Connor, he is actually the villain of the film. He's like a new Terminator known as, I think they say, uh, the T-3000, I think it's called. Now this new Terminator has like the abilities of like, uh, like the Terminator, and I think, like, I think it can morph too, like the T-1000 did and stuff, you know, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because that, that particular Terminator is sent back in time to ensure Skynet's survival. Now, other things in the film, too, you know, like, I thought, and I thought this was a good film. I, I surprisingly, I enjoyed it. I, I, didn't, I didn't really think I probably would, but I know I've always been, like, a Terminator fan, you know. So I, I knew I kind of probably would, but I, I kind of enjoyed it more than I thought I would. But you do have appearances about, like, the, uh, like the T-1000 as well. But this time it's, like, an Asian T-1000 versus, like, the, uh, the Caucasian one, Robert Patrick from Terminator 2. It's like an Asian version of the T-1000, which is very, which is a cool sequence, you know? Because like kind of the beginning of the film, once Kyle Reese comes back into Los Angeles in 84, the T-1000 is there as well, along with the T-800, which is cool, you know? Because the T-800 has like a fight with Kyle Reese, and I don't want to spoil, you know, but I thought that was like a cool sequence. Even like the, the, uh, the future sequences, when they're still like in the future, like 2029, and they're having like, uh, like the human resistance is having like the war against like the uh, Skynet and the Terminators and stuff, like all the machines and stuff. I thought that was like an awesome sequence as well too, you know. But yeah, that's basically what the film is about. This time, like, it's very similar to like how the events of the original one, like with uh, Kyle Reese being sent back in time to uh, to protect Sarah Connor, but when he gets back to 1984 from 2029, it turns out that the events 
have been like the, the timeline has been like altered, so you know that 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 explains why everything kind of like all messed up and stuff. Like it turns out that there's like already a T eight hundred there, you know, which is Arnold Snager, and he's known as the Guardian. He's protecting Sarah Connor, and he's been around here I think since like the seventies, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> he was actually son, so he actually was sent back before the events of the original Terminator in 1984. This Terminator was sent back into the in the seventies and found Sarah Connor as like a little girl and raised her from then, if I'm not mistaken. Which is why he like aged and stuff as well, you know. But I thought, I thought this film was like real good, you know. And I, I thought the new Terminator was kind, you know, it was kind of that you could tell they just made it just to make a new Terminator because it's a new Terminator film. So, but I thought I thought it was kind of cool, like because he's like he does he can, he has like magnetic type abilities where he can like magnetize stuff and something like that, you know. But I thought, I thought, I thought it was cool, you know. But you have uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger as the T-800 Terminator. You have Jason Clark as uh, John Connor, the T-3000. And he turns out to be the villain, which they could have saved, you know. And I heard other people saying that too. But how they kind of spoiled that during the trailers, you know. With John Connor, it turned out they used the villain. Now, if they would have just saved that for when the film was actually released, him being the villain, that would have been a big plus, you know. And a better, you know, revelation. Then you also have uh, Amelia Clark as uh, Sarah Connor. You have uh, Jai Courtney as uh, Kyle Reese, Lee Byung Hung, I think that's how you say his name, as T-1000. And you also have J.K. Simmons as a, a detective in this film. He also shows up. He doesn't really have that much to do, you know, but he's in there, you know, he's kind of like funny at times. And then, now, uh, this is the one that kind of caught me, too. You have uh, Matt Smith, you know, he, he just recently played, like, Doctor Who for, like, I think, like, three years. He turns out to be Skynet, which I thought was awesome, you know. I thought, I thought that was kind of interesting, you know, that they had him cast as a uh, Skynet. But yeah, uh, I thought uh, if you're like a Terminator fan, I would recommend it, you know. I thought it was cool and I like to see like this age Terminator. It has some spectacular like action sequences, you know, which are known for like a Terminator film, you know. So I, I would recommend it, you know. And it, it leaves the door open for like a father. If you watch like the post credit scene, you know, it leaves like a door opening for like a, another Terminator film. And there's supposed to be two more of them. But I heard about how the box office is doing. I'm not sure if it's gonna it's gonna happen, you know, because Arnold Schwarzenegger supposed to return as well to to the T800 role. But yeah, this is uh my review for uh, Terminator Genesis, and this is the fifth film in the Terminator franchise. And I would recommend it. You know, I thought I enjoyed it surprisingly. You know, I would recommend it for like Terminator fans or like Arnold Schwarzenegger fans or just science fiction like action fans, you know, as well. You know, so this is my review, and this is a uh, JDS 4696. All right.